Welcome back. So I've been gone for about a week, um, crippling anxiety and depression. Um, and then I did this to my eye. Don't know how, but that took about four days to heal. So I'm going through it right now, as a lot of you know, because a lot of us stay in touch outside of YouTube. And I do want to thank you all for your support, including the person who made this video possible because they didn't want me to say who it is, but I still would like to thank them. They sent me a little Shop Miss A care package. We were talking about some of the new releases and I was really excited and it just, it made me smile. So to that person, I want to say thank you. It really brightened up what was a very, very crappy week, <laughs> but we're pushing through. We're going to keep going because what other choice do we have? There's an old saying in show business, the show must go wrong. Everything always goes wrong and you just have to deal with it. Let's get into this huge Shop Miss A haul. Some really cool stuff. This is the final look that I got with all the products. I did a full face, and I mean a full face of Shop Miss A. In fact, I couldn't use it all. So let's get into it. The first thing I wanna show y'all, look at these adorable earrings. How cute are these little rhinestone earrings i love them one dollar i actually love shop miss ace fashion jewelry they have some really cute stuff but it does sell out really quickly so if you see something you want go ahead and grab it because it does not hang around for very long next up are these hair clips the crocodile clips do not spend a lot of money on these these are amazing some of y'all know i was a cosmetologist and these feel as good a quality as any i have ever used so highly recommend picking some of these up they're awesome i'm just kind of going through some of the stuff that i'm not putting on my face today next up is the jelly jam lip mask now they sent me two of these so this one will go in a giveaway but i really like this it's really thick and it's awesome to sleep in. This is from the Paw Paw Collection, so it's $1.55. This one is just your typical strawberry shortcake, uh, strawberry scented lip mask, and but I really like it. It stays on a long time, and I've really been enjoying this. And another thing you're gonna see me use is this brush set. This is the F4 High Def Brush and the E104, and these come in a package together fabulous foundation brush fabulous concealer brush or whatever you want to use it for i actually have three sets of their flat top it's like an angled flat top kabuki let me see if i can find it aha it's in my dirty pile it is the f7 and it's covered in makeup but this is one of my favorite brushes from shop miss a it's kind of slanted beautiful brush it's kind of sorry it's so dirty but it's getting washed. <laughs> this also comes with the matching concealer brush. These are $2, but I loved this. Please do not spend a ton of money on foundation brushes. I've had that other one for, I had that one for like a year and it was so good. I bought two more sets and have had it now for like two years. So don't waste your money on foundation brushes. Shop Miss A is where it's at. <laughs> My daughter just sent me that video. That's my grandson. I think he was laughing at pooping. So starting with what I do first, which is the brows. And first I went in, this is new. This is their hold my brow. And I'll be putting in video of me applying these things. Um, this is the hold my brow clear longwear brow soap, sculpts, shapes, and controls. And so far we're doing good. I've had this on about an hour and a half and it actually looks just like my OG, my Anatato brow soap, which is very much loved. I think these might be the same. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. This one is $7 for two and this is a dollar. So save the bucks. So I would say give this a go if you like brow soap. 
Next up was the only true fail that I had in today's video. They can't all be winners, but it was the micro brow pin. And I really tried to make this work. It just was not laying down. Um, I might try it again uh, before I do the brow soap because it just wasn't wanting to work. Um, it's not, a lot of these pens shape like this dry out, but this isn't dried out, so it still has some gusto. I do like the color. It's not too warm at all. It's actually very ashy. I got the shade dark brown. It's a great color for me, um, so I may just need to try it on bare skin. But today, this was a fail for me. Didn't work, so I did have to use my NYX uh, Lips and Snatch. I used another product as my eye base, and this is the, this is another new product. This is the Top Secret Concealer, and this is in a pot formula. And I will talk more about this when we get to doing concealer, because I did use it in other areas. But I just wanted to let you know that this is what I used as an eye base today. And I don't have any creasing so far, so I'm also not too shiny. That's nice. I really, I feel like this is that perfect combination of, of wet and dry. If you know what I'm talking about, it's not as dry as the NARS uh, pot concealer, but it's also not too wet like the NYX pot concealer, if that makes sense. But we'll talk more about it. I forgot this too, y'all. Look at this. This is a little jelly tote and you put it together yourself. It kind of snaps into place. I have all my trash in it from all the products I unboxed. But isn't this adorable? This would make a great little beach or pool tote just for your sunscreen, your phone. I don't know, it'd be cute in the car. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. It comes in this little kind of peachy nude color. They did have other colors, but I thought this was so cute. And I wanna say this was $1.88. Anyway, back to the makeup. So the next thing is these two eyeshadow quads. I've got these Sunday afternoon eyeshadows. I've got the blue one, which is called Day Stroll. And I've got the brown one, which is called Depresso. And these I'm pretty sure are, these are the, com I'm pretty sure these are the components that the Elf Bite Size Shadows come in. These are so cute. I'm gonna put in a video of me um, applying these two eye looks while I talk. So this one here is Day Stroll, and I will show you swatches. It's got this deep marine blue, really beautiful kind of duochrome shimmer shade in it, and this aqua blue, and then pretty much my skin tone color for blending out. And this is the little look that I came up with. Now, this shimmer is almost the same exact this one almost feels like a super shock. It's very squishy. It's very malleable. It, um, but it also goes on without needing a glitter glue or anything like that. And I did not get a ton of fallout at all from this little palette. Now Depresso, again, showing you the swatches here. It is just your basic little eyeshadow quad, but it does have this it does have a glitter in it. So if you're not into that, maybe skip this one. However, I did use it on the blue side and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, I gotta say, these mattes surprised me. The lighter shades are a little powdery, but they're still pigmented. The darker shades are kind of harder packed, but they still blend out really, really nice. I didn't have any trouble with them whatsoever. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed using them. I feel like they are comparable to the Elf Bite Size Shadows, and these are, you know, just a little bit cheaper. But if you're ordering, I would say pick up one of these. I have not tried the other quads that they came out with, um, but if they're anything like this, I would be interested in giving it a shot. So this one, I used a little bit of that glitter on the blue side, and then... This was the brown side. And I feel like I got really good looks with them. This blue, this dark blue. So when you try to swatch it, it just, it looks terrible. And it didn't swatch very well. I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is gonna be awful. But on the eye, 
just goes to show you swatches don't mean anything next up i picked up some eyeliners and i got the i got two of the gel eyeliners i got the one in black i got the one in brown what i do like about these is they click when you put the lid on so that you know they're closed this is the black and let me swatch it so it's smooth black and i like the black but the brown is definitely my favorite so there's the brown on the bottom. It's very rich and again, creamy. It does give you some time to blend it out, but once you do, it sets. It went on incredibly smooth. Um, it blended out. It stayed in the waterline. Again, I've had it on for probably, yeah, about an, uh, about an hour and a half going on two hours now. It's still in my waterline. I do have watery eyes and it has not budged but I will give you guys an update, but I highly recommend that upon first impressions. Up next is the thing I am probably most surprised about. These are the Arteza, the AOA Arteza eyeliner pens. And y'all, these are brush tip. Uh, you do need to give them a good shake. I'm gonna show me applying this eyeliner. I got a green and I got a black. And I'm gonna show me applying this green in real time because I want you to see how easy it was. This might be the easiest liner I've ever used in my life. It it did not pull, it didn't feather, which I was worried about that it would bleed because when I swatched it on my hand, it bled. It did not bleed on my eye. It is still on my eye, if you can see that. But let me show you. I'm gonna show you the green first. So here is the tip. And it's, again, it's a brush tip. And it is this beautiful forest green. It's showing up a little bit darker on camera, but it is gorgeous. And just so pigmented and dark, like, shocked. <laughs> here is the black. Got a very precise tip, very black. And I don't know if you can see, but the green bled a little bit and it does get brighter as it dries down. Um, it bled a little bit on my hand and I was worried, but it was fine. And the black dries down matte. I'm just, I'm really blown away by this liner. I'm surprised that it had, I figured for sure it was gonna be a felt tip. One caveat, the green does stain a little bit. However, it does come off. You just have to use a little bit of oil cleanser. It will come off. I'm not positive on whether these are waterproof or not. I don't think they are, but that's another thing I will update in a future video on. Nesh, my dog is just letting herself out of the room. So I definitely recommend picking these up and giving them a shot. Next up, I got some mascaras. Now, I did try the blue one. This is the AOA Wisp Enriching Mascara, and I got the blue one. This one's called Dark Blue, and I did put this on my lower lashes here, and I'll show you guys in the picture. And this is just, this is just a royal blue. It worked fine. It's not the best colored mascara I've ever used. But then again, I don't wear colored mascaras that often. Maybe if I found one I liked, I would, but these were, it was fine. Now I haven't tried the purple yet. This is the only one of these that I didn't try. This is just kind of an, kind of an eggplanty color. I don't know that that one will show up very well but I'm sure at some point I'll give it a try. But I did use one of their new mascaras. This is the AOA Lifting Mascara. It's for curl and I got it of course in black. It is. It says it is flexible conditioning, smudge resistant and it has a flexible curved wand, which it does. I really like the wand. It's your typical curved wand, but it does really grab onto the lashes and I'll put a video of me applying it. I did three coats and I think by the third coat it actually looks pretty good. Now I have pitiful lashes, like pitiful. Um, and y'all, most of y'all know I wear falsies. So uh, take my opinion on mascara with a grain of salt. 
but it did hold a curl, which I appreciate because mine really do fall flat. And I don't like that because when I wear lashes, I like them to blend in, not fall down to where you can see the separation. So this did what it said it would do. And I think it gave me some nice separation. It gave me some nice separation and definitely held the curl. So, so let's talk about face. Um, I have here the Perfect Filter Face Primer. Now, I was a little surprised by this. For some reason, I expected a very uh, silicone-y primer, and it was not at all. It just kind of feels like a moisturizer. As you rub it in, you do feel a little bit. You can tell there's silicone in it. It does feel like it's got a little dimethicone in it, but it's not that weird um, you know, silicone-y feeling. And I do feel like it helped with texture. Um, and it also feels a little, oh, a little moisturizing. So that's always nice, especially if you have dry skin. Um, I have combo, but so far so good. And again, this is from their pawpaw line. So these, everything in the pawpaw line is $1.50, I believe. All the single items. Next up was a product I was so excited about because it's new. <laughs> And it is, Aoi has come out with a Vita Glow Tinted Moisturizer with Vitamin C. I'm going to show the application here. This, I used, of course, the brush that I got. And it is very moisturizing. It's very glowy. Um, it did not, I've got some dry patches because, again, I used Tretinoin. And I did have some dry patches. It didn't cling to any areas really weirdly. It gave a, it's a solid light coverage. Um, I was able to build it up a little bit to a, to a more fuller light coverage, if that makes sense. Not, not quite medium, but it was smooth. It evened everything out. And I am not the biggest tinted moisturizer person, but this was absolutely beautiful. I did notice a slight smell uh, a slight fragrance, but nothing overpowering. Very, very light. The ingredients say it does have fragrance, but I didn't notice anything um, that stood out to me as as very scented, if that makes sense. But yeah, I loved the finish of this. It's kind of glowy and just natural and fresh. It was very, very nice. And I definitely felt like the brush was the way to go with this foundation. Now, up next, I have two concealers and I talked about this one in the beginning. It's the new Top Secret Concealer and I decided to try this on some spots and in, uh, under this eye. So you can see me applying it under this eye. I haven't had, this stuff shocked me, I have not had a pot concealer look so nice under the eye in a very very long time. And again, even more shocking because it's a dollar, um, but it was pigmented, but not crazy pigmented, um, but it was full coverage, and I felt like this was more full coverage than the next one I'm going to talk about. So as I'm looking at it right now, I did set it, and it still looks great. Um, it's not settling in badly, uh, as some do. This one really just shocked me, and I am definitely going to be using this again because... Th this just looked beautiful. It did not work as well for me as a spot concealer as my NARS, but I also didn't let it dry down as long as I do my NARS, so I'm going to keep playing with this. I just feel like it's worth, um, I feel like I liked it enough on first impressions that I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try to use it several more ways, if that makes sense. Now this one's not new, but it's also not their original. There was an original one that came out, and then this one, and now the pot concealer. But this is the uh, this is the paw paw concealer. I have the shade porcelain. I got the lightest shade in all these, by the way. Um, and this is just their liquid concealer. And you can see me putting it on here. I like the consistency. I love that it's a squeezy tube. I just like being it. You can get the tiniest amount out. You don't waste anything. It's very creamy. Um, it It's not drying to me. I don't feel like it's drying and I have mature under eyes. But it's just, it's just very nice. It's got a, a, I would say, solid medium to full. 
you can make it full coverage. Um, but I think my thoughts are that the pot concealer is better on a day when I want full coverage. And this would be beautiful for when I just don't need as much coverage. But this was really nice. It did set down um, a little bit. It stayed slightly tacky, so I did go ahead and set it as well. And I'll talk about that in a minute. If you can hear Nash, she's chewing. What are you chewing on, ma'am? Hello, girl. You're a big girl and you can't get in my lap. And while I was getting this, I picked up the shade Cappuccino for a liquid bronzer. And you can see me applying it here. It is a little more warm than I thought it was going to be when I looked in the when I looked at the tube and the swatch. It looked like it would be a little bit cooler, but it did end up being a little more warm, which is fine because I wanted it as a bronzer. I didn't contour today, so um, and it does make a beautiful bronzer color for me. Word to the wise, it's a very pigmented because it is a concealer so you literally need the tiniest dot this is going this is going to last forever <laughs> speaking of setting i picked up their bright perfect uh setting powder and i got it in the shade brightening this i love it under my eyes um i i have bought their setting powder before i don't know if it is a different formula it feels like it to me, but I'm not positive. I can't confirm that. However, this blurred, it set without looking dusty and crusty. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even use setting spray to set, you know, to kind of tone down the powder. I just felt like I didn't have to, but it didn't oxidize my concealer. Let's see. Okay, it does have a little mica in it, so that may be why it has more of a satin finish than just a solid, like, powdery matte finish. But I really, really like this. It actually re reminds me of, it actually reminds me of the Rare Beauty. I had to change my battery, so if I'm in a little different spot, I apologize. This is the Rare Beauty. And this is the Shot Masse, and they both have that like light pink. And I know I'm so pale. Hold on. Shot Masse Rare Beauty. But do you see how they're not, they're not flat matte. They kind of still have a sheen to them. So yeah, I might have found a dupe for a dollar for the Rare Beauty powder. It is applying just like it. It's behaving just like it. I'm going to, I'm going to do a wear test for a dupes video and see just to make sure it lasts as long, but I'll definitely keep you updated. So the new liquid blushes were ordered. However, I got a little note in my order saying they sold out before they could pack it. And I'm really bummed because I really wanted to try them, but I went in with Old Faithful, which is Hush in their Cream Sheer Blush, one of my favorites. Beautiful rosy color. It's just so nice. They have a lot of staying power, and I really, really enjoyed that. I did go in with another old favorite, which is their Velour Highlighter, and I think I have Circus. Yes, Circus, and I use that highlighter in the corner of my eye on the blue side. So those are favorites that I already have and already love. But I wanted to retry the AOA Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter, and I hear Taylor Wynn rave about this shade Morning Glow all the time and I'm swatching it here. I'm showing how it applies. I applied it with a sponge. It did not lift my foundation. It didn't disturb anything. It does feel like it has a slick base. I'm not sure what the base is made out of. However, so I feel like if you rubbed it on, it might disturb the makeup. But using a beauty blender and just tapping it on, it was gorgeous. And I did that. And I'd forgotten that I had it, so I actually did it over powder, and it was still fine. And it is just a beautiful pinky champagne glow. I'm excited to keep trying it. I would like to try it almost like the Auric and mix it in a little bit with some foundation or put it on underneath. But it is beautiful, and I can definitely recommend this one already. Finally, we have some lip products and I got, so the gloss I have on is new and it's called Full Lips and it is a new pumping lip gloss. And this is just the clear one. You do feel a little bit of something, but it's nothing like some other lip, plumping lip glosses. Like I feel like it does 
do nicely on the perimeter of the lip, if that makes sense. Um, you can kind of feel it plumping things up just a little bit. It's got a good staying power, so I'm enjoying this. And I uh, actually, two of these came, so that would be another thing that's going to go in a giveaway. But yeah, if you just need a clear gloss, it does come in other colors, but I'm stoked I have the clear one. Next up is one of the Wonder Matte Lipsticks. I'll put a little video of me in here with this shade on. I know it's a weird shade, but we're coming up on spring and I just wanted something lavender. And I don't know that lavender is my color. Definitely not with this look, but I think with the right shadow and blush, it would be adorable. And this is their new, newly reformulated Wonder Matte. They had one before. This is their newer formula and it's supposed to not be quite as drying. I probably have six or so of their other matte formula and I like the staying power, but they are pretty dry. So I'm excited to try this one. It feels a little more moussey, but it definitely dries down. It definitely stays put. And I'm anxious to try this with a purple eye. I think a little monochromatic moment would be adorable. Another product I already know I like is also newer. And I got this shade in the Velvet AOA Studio. This is another pawpaw. I got the Velvet, another shade in the Velvet Lips. And I thought this shade Chris was the most adorable. Just corally color for spring. Is anyone else Jones in for spring? Like it's supposed to be like 28 degrees tomorrow night in Georgia and I'm just over the hot and cold hot and cold air conditioner heater air conditioner heater but I already know I like this formula I have some back there I just did not have this color and I'm excited to wear this this spring because I really like the velvet lip formula it is very moussey it's kind of like the cloud pout from wet and wild but more pigmented and I like this one a little bit better and it's a dollar 88 the next two are new lines and this is the this is the new AOA dreamy lipstick and I got the shade first date and I think we're trying to be Mac but this formula feels very um it's like a satin it's creamy it's your typical lipstick I thought it was just like a juicy watermelon color so I'm excited to try that formula and see how it lasts. It's, it is very creamy, so I don't know how long lasting it'll be, but it is a beautiful color. Next up are two of the AOA Special Day Lip Crayons. Now I thought these were going to be like a matte formula and they are not. I will swatch them for you. They're almost like a balm, but very hydrating, very creamy. Um, and slightly sheer like I feel like you could really sheer these out. So here's what they look like I think they're sharpenable because I don't see yeah, you can't turn them up But again, I'm Jones in for spring. This is staycation and this one is anniversary and they're both beautiful colors They pop a, there you can kind of see Sometimes the light washes it out, but this is a very like cherry red. Let me sheer them out and show you. So that one is Staycation. And then this one is more subtle. It's just kind of a corally balm and that one's called Anniversary. They are beautiful for what they are. Now that I know what they are, I thought they were going to be like a matte crayon. Almost like the Maybelline or the Milani. But no, they're a balm, which sometimes makes them a little more versatile. So I'm not mad about it. And then finally, the last thing I got is just one of the standard AOA So Smooth lipsticks. And this is in the shade Shore. This is a just gorgeous mauve, like mid-tone nude. I am wearing it. It paired really well with KKW 0.5 nude. But this is a like natural matte formula and these last, but I did not have this shade. It's just beautiful. So that was my big old Shop Miss A haul. Again, I just wanna thank the person provided this for me, you're an angel. I'm trying to push through all this and create, but if any of you struggle with mental health, um, if you, any of you are going through a hard time, then you know uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for just being here. I would love to know what your favorite Shop Miss A uh, item is. Uh, and if you've never tried them before, if you're interested in it. If you need any other recommendations, let me know. 
I think I tried just about everything from this brand. Bobby, you wanna say bye? Where's your Bobo? Where's your Bowie boy? Hi! Hi, Muffin! So Bowie and I wanna remind you to be kind. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we will see you again, hopefully very, very soon. I love you all so much. You mean the world to me. And I'll see you again soon.